Well, plans have changed. We are not headed to the Northwest largest garage sale. Instead, we are gonna do some picking in Silverton, Salem, Oregon, and Dallas, Oregon. Today in part two of the Silverton video, we are first gonna stop at the local Goodwill. This Goodwill is only a few blocks away from the downtown area. Today I am shopping primarily for things to resell in my online vintage shop, leftcoastrevivals.com. But I also decorate my entire home with secondhand finds. So if I find something I love that much, you know I'm gonna keep it. I decorate with a lot of blue at home and this candle holder is really beautiful. I'm pretty sure this is new. It is made out of carved wood and the blue color variation on it is so pretty. This would be a really fun one to decorate with back at the studio. It is $6.99. This is hand-painted Italian pottery and it's only $4.99, but unfortunately it's got a crack in it. I don't know why, but lately I've been finding a lot of cracked and broken pottery. I have some of these lion soup bowls at home. It's like once you see them for the first time, you start seeing them everywhere. Here are a pair of wooden lanterns. They're kind of interesting. They've got beautiful glass panels in them. They're only $3.99. These would look really pretty at night with little candles flickering in them. I think I'm gonna get two or three of these for a winter photo shoot. They look really pretty. They're originally Target for $15 and they're $6.99 here. I think I'm gonna get a couple of them. This is kind of a pretty little short squatty vase. It's a handmade artist sign piece. It's $2.99. I like the purple squiggle design on it. This would be really pretty in a windowsill in the springtime with some fresh lavender. These are by designer Andrea Sadek and they are not incredibly valuable, but they are really pretty and these would be the perfect addition to the holiday sale. I've been looking for holiday themed items this past few weeks. Imagine sitting by a fireplace having hot cocoa in these beautiful mugs. I might have to pick up a couple of these faux trees. I have an area in the studio that doesn't get any natural light and this might work for that space. I also could use some faux greenery in my guest bedroom because it doesn't get a lot of natural light either. I'm not a huge fan of faux plants, but sometimes in certain spaces, it's all you can do. These are pretty hand-blown glass straws and stir sticks. I especially love the ones with stars on the top. These will be great for the holiday sale. They'd be perfect for mixing a cocktail at a holiday party. And they're only $2.99 for the entire set. Speaking of cocktails, I have also been looking for good quality glasses for the holiday sale. These are made in France and they are only 99 cents each. There is a set of 10, so I'm going to buy all 10 of them for only 10 bucks. Glassware tends to sell the best for me during the holiday season. And that's because people are entertaining, they're having people over for holiday parties, and they're making special cocktails. This is a hand-carved nativity set made out of soapstone. It's a beautiful pinky peach color. I wonder if the entire set is here. It is $7.99 and it says as is. So that probably means either it's missing some of the set or one or two of the pieces might have some damage. Since I'm looking for holiday themed items, I think it's worth picking up the set and we'll find out when we get home if it's all here. I'm 
I'm also picking up this little checkered dress. This is gonna be perfect to wear to a holiday party that I have next month. I don't always look at clothes, but it does seem like whenever I do, I find vintage designer stuff. This is a 1980s Bob Mackie shirt. As the tags say, they are wearable art, they are very high quality, and the designs are always a little bit wild, out there, loud, and I think that makes them so fun, and that's why people love Bob Mackie clothing. Here is another Western shirt that is pretty valuable. These sell online for around 50 to 60 per top. We're gonna get this one too. It started dumping while we were in Goodwill. It actually just finally let up. But as you can see on the ground, look at all that rain. It was pouring so loud, it was kind of scary. I got some fake plants, which I'm not a big fake plant person at all, but I have a couple rooms in my house that get no natural light at all. There's not a single window. And so I think that this will at least give me a pop of greenery. They're Target brand. They were originally $150 at Target and they were only $24.99. So I felt like that was worth the investment and I'm just excited to get a little bit of greenery in those spaces. Again, they're not the best, but they're not bad. They've kind of come a long way with faux plants. Well, that was pretty good for our first stop today. I was so tired when I woke up this morning because we had so much fun at the hotel last night. We stayed up till midnight just having wine and chatting. And so I wasn't sure how much thrifting I had in me today, just honestly, because I was so tired. This Goodwill got my juices flowing. As you can see, my energy is here. I don't know how many more stops we're gonna stop at. We're just gonna see. This rain has been wild. It keeps coming in these massive downpours. So I'm a little bit nervous about some of the country back roads that I was planning to take. So we're just gonna play it by ear and see where we end up but first I gotta go get some coffee. All right we are at Super Thrift in Salem, Oregon and my goal today is to find some stuff for my holiday Christmas sale and also to decorate my own house for Christmas. First impression, I am surprised by how much furniture this store has. This is a super thrift, which I took you to a super thrift in Oregon City a few weeks back. And that one also had a lot of furniture. So now I'm thinking that this might be one of my new spots to come to when I'm looking for a piece of furniture. So far, the pricing here is kind of all over the board. It's similar to Habitat for Humanity, where you can find some things for $5 and some things for $40, but there's definitely a huge selection and variety, and I bet if you came every day, you could score some really good vintage. curious to see what their small selection is. I didn't end up walking away with a lot of things at the Super Thrift in Oregon City, but as I always say, you never know unless you go. I can tell that's a piece of Oregon myrtle wood from here. It's a beautiful hand-turned vase and it's only $2.99. I'm also loving these carved wooden spoons. They have that burned look, which I think is really beautiful. It looks great with the contrast of the lighter wood and they're only 99 cents for the pair.
I love a good tile trivet. This one has a really beautiful design with kind of unique coloring. It's only 99 cents and it has a little sticker on the back that says Japan. During the mid-century era, Japan made a lot of items that were very similar to Scandinavian designs. This would probably fall into that category because the tile looks very Scandinavian to me. I've been looking for a lazy Susan to put a few things on in my kitchen, but this one is actually not made out of solid wood and I'm gonna hold out until I find a solid wood one. The shape on this pot is so fabulous. I love the little handles. It's only $3.99. We're gonna pass because I'm not positive it's safe to cook out of this material. These are such pretty pillows. They have that perfectly faded worn look so they don't look brand new, but they're in really good condition. They are $3.99 each. And for those of you who ask what I do when I pick up linens, I always take them to my shop. They don't come inside my house until they're cleaned. I always recommend cleaning rugs or linens before you bring them into your home. I spotted an estate sale sign, so of course I have to stop. I don't take you guys estate sale shopping often, so we'll see how much I can film here. But um, I just wanted to say that this is why I always carry cash on me, because you never know when you might need it. And a lot of estate sales, especially if they're family run, are cash only. So we'll see what they've got. I've been finding so much amazing vintage Burlwood lately, and I can't wait to get this home and cleaned up. Imagine a beautiful plant in here with a root ball growing in the water so that you can see it. This is gonna be awesome. This is my favorite find so far today. I'm also gonna get this stunning sea blue studio pottery bowl. It is $7 and it is artist signed on the bottom. It has such a pretty color to it. I am so glad I stopped in. It looks like there are several things on this table that maybe one of the homeowners hand carved themselves. This hand carved cobra wall hanging is kind of interesting. This would be really cool to hang a bunch of necklaces from. And it's only $3. Next, we are gonna stop at another thrift store. This one's pretty massive and I always find a lot of vintage here. I found this pair of beautiful crystal martini glasses. They are $5 each, but they are such high quality, heavy crystal. I think I'm gonna get these for New Year's Eve to make a classic martini in. This is such a beautiful hand-painted olive bowl. So you would put the olives in the one side and as you eat your olives, you put the little pits on the small side. This will be perfect for entertaining and it's only $4.
This is a French designer piece of pottery by Robert Picoult. I'm not sure how you say it in French. And these are worth money. I'm pretty sure his pieces are worth over $100. And we just scored this for only three bucks. It has a few faint chips on the top rim, but we are still gonna get it. And I am still very excited about this find. I love dishes like this that are in between a bowl and a plate because they work so great for so many things. This would be so pretty to even put a little bit of potpourri in and have it by your front door. It would make a gorgeous soap dish or just a trinket catch-all bowl. It is artist signed and it's only $3. a vintage glass liquor decanter. It's only $5. And the colors on this are so perfect for fall. I love a good trinket box and this one is exceptional. It almost reminds me of a circus tent. It needs a little cleaning, but I know that I'm gonna be able to get this thing looking beautiful. And it's only $3. This one's gonna go to our Tiki Party collection. I think I already have one other napkin holder and it's a watermelon. We usually set up four or five tables during that event, so it would be nice to have a napkin holder on each table. And I spotted a couple wooden vases that would actually look really wonderful to sell as a set. Classic traditional teak salt and pepper shakers and they even have the stoppers in the bottom, which is not always the case. I also like this little walnut pair that had the kind of traditional mid-century cone shape. These are $4 for the pair. We have a full set unused of fondue forks that just need a little bit of wood oil. They are only $3 for the set. We are doing pretty darn good here today. Here is a second one of these amber glass liquor decanters. This one is also $5. Things always sell better when they're in a pair, so we're gonna get both of them today. Loving on this brass pitcher. It's got this nice wood handle. The brass looks like it might need a little bit of a cleaning, but overall it's in great shape. It is $12, which so far is the most expensive thing we've bought, but I know it's gonna be worth it. I think a brass mid-century pitcher like this is worth at least over $40. And I know exactly what this is because I collect pottery by this potter, Bennett Welsh. This is the wheat pattern, and I will pop in a clip of the pattern that I collect. It is $8, but it even has an old Goodwill tag for $6.99 on the bottom. That always cracks me up because you see the cycle of secondhand things. Totally worth it. Bennett Welsh pieces sell for much more than $8. This is a Monet reproduction. It's actually just a print and a Sirocco art frame. I've been looking for Monet style paintings for my sister's bedroom that I did a makeover on a while ago. So every time I see anything that either looks like Monet or is a copy of Monet, I always check it out. I'm gonna pass on this one because again, it's just a print and it doesn't have a real wood frame. This one's probably not worth the three dollars that they're asking for it but it is a good size i use these to photograph art when i am listing them for my online shop and i don't have one this size so we're gonna splurge on the three dollar one today wavy is all the rage and i think this lamp is pretty fantastic it is only five dollars and the curves on it i think are going to make this one sell fast i just got to find the right shade for it
Here's a pair of small Oregon Myrtlewood vases. These are $3 each. They're pretty small and I think these might have even originally been the perfume bottles, which I now have two of. I'll pop in a picture, but these don't have the lids with them, so I'm going to pass. This is a nice triple candle holder. It is only $3. It has pretty floral etched designs on the metal and it has a nice wood base. It just needs a little bit of cleaning and wood oil. This would look so beautiful on a holiday table. I'm looking for a few Christmas ornaments for my studio because I wanted to do a little setup in the front window, having a few ornaments hanging. Thrift stores are an awesome place to get them because typically the pricing is gonna be so low. And I even like to look for Christmas ornaments that are handmade and they're gonna be one of a kind. It's so much more fun to have an interesting and eclectic style. Like look at how fun this hot air balloon ornament is. I'm pretty sure that these are new productions made in the mid-century style. Honestly, sometimes it's pretty hard to tell the difference between the new and old ones. But the fact that these little toppers are so shiny, I'm thinking that these are new replicas. This is a vintage wool designer coat by Luba, and it is only $10. These sell for probably around $75 to $100 online. This one's in really great shape, and it has a very classic style to it. A really good buy at only $10. I have a very special trip that I'm keeping secret coming up very soon, and I was looking specifically for a few plaid clothing items for that trip. I got my dress this morning, and now I have a skirt. I think I am set. We're gonna make one last stop at Goodwill before we hit the road and head home. I like these hand-painted wooden panels. They are $3.99 each. I'm a huge fan of folk art and anything hand-painted, and wall plaques are so fun to mix into gallery walls. I also love this little wooden inlaid candle holder. It has three brass spots for candles, and it's kind of a fun geometric mixed wood style. I think the signature on the bottom says Brendan Hassan. It's signed 85, and it's only $3.99. And I'm definitely getting this because this is click a pottery from the Pacific Northwest. I actually used to collect this, and after finally getting about 10 pieces of my collection, I started selling them off a few years ago. This makes a great honey pot or a canister for anything that you wanna have a spoon in, and it's only $3.99. I'm also picking up this picture frame because I have tons of art for my European trip, so I'm hoping that one of the pieces of art will fit nicely in this frame. So many of today's finds are gonna be in my upcoming First Friday sale. I'm also currently working on getting a bunch of these pieces oiled up. Some of these are actually from my European trip, so you'll see those in a video very soon. And if you wanna see how all of these turned out staged, make sure to follow me on Instagram, at Left Coast Revivals, where I'm gonna be sharing the before and afters and how I style these things up. Also, so many of you ask me about what oil I use on my wood when I oil things up like this, and I've got a link for you in the description below. The link is gonna take you to all of my favorite products I use here in my shop. I've got links to everything from outfits that I wear that you ask me about a lot to my favorite things in my kitchen. So check that link out in the description below. I'll see you guys in a brand new episode soon. Oh,